Stephanie Wells, a Cal grad with a UC Davis PhD, and the focus, the PhD focus was on modernism, postmodernism in American and British novels and poetry. She currently teaches at the College of Marin and had a 1030 course that started just a moment ago or close to. So Stephanie, start us off. Hi there, everyone. It's nice to see you. Um, my course, Breaking the Frame, explores the subject, the subgenre of postmodernism in literature that's known as metafiction. Um, that's a genre that starts mostly in the 1960s. And metafiction refers to fiction that calls attention to itself as an artificial construction, self-reflexively, um, and allows us to sort of view the creative process at times as it's happening. So as readers, we are somewhat conditioned from the time we learn to read to expect an author to follow a certain set of conventions that are implicitly promised to us when we start reading a book. We're sort of socialized to expect we can trust this author to drop us into the text and carry us away. And in metafiction, authors break that contract all the time. And so it sort of asks, what is that contract that we have between the reader and the author? Um, what happens when it's broken? What happens when our author is unreliable? You've heard of unreliable narrators, but sometimes these authors are not trustworthy to just take us away into a piece of fiction. And so we will explore in this class the, the boundaries of narrative and examine texts that use all kinds of experimental narrative structures, shifting perspectives, destabilized narrators, and really contradictory plot lines. And so a lot of these texts are very self-conscious of themselves as texts. They'll keep reminding you of the fact that you're reading a novel and I'm your author. Um, so so much for the old idea of escaping into the world of fiction. Um, metafiction just doesn't let you do that. And so we'll be looking at the historical moment of postmodernism and what it's reacting to, and also what it's reacting to within literary history as a moment. It's mostly, um, excuse me, sorry, mostly 1960s, 1970s with earlier authors like Jorge Luis Borges, um, Italo Calvino, John Barth, and Donald Bartlemy, some of the pioneers of it. And then we'll look at some later authors who were influenced by them, like Margaret Atwood, David Foster Wallace, Tim O'Brien, Kurt Vonnegut, several other ones. Um, we'll read several short stories, a few poems, two novels and a play and watch a film. Um, I'll probably throw in a little postmodern theory as well. Um, and evaluate whether their employment of metafiction as a technique actually serves a narrative purpose. Because metafiction can be really playful as it breaks down these narrative conventions, but at its heart, it's also critiquing the idea of representation in general on a deeper level. It's sort of a rejection of the notion that we can distinguish between reality and fiction. So in this way, it really can function as postmodern cultural criticism as it sort of deconstructs the creative process as we're watching it. Um, and so there is metafiction that's only there to play with that gimmick of having the author break through and text and say, remember me, I'm the author, I'm here. And when it is just a gimmick, that's not actually very interesting, I don't think. And when it's used thematically to enhance the narrative purpose, that's when all that experimental playfulness is really masterful and worthwhile because then it becomes really an interrogation of the relationship between the author and the readers. So let's be those readers. Let's look at this stuff together and evaluate why they would do such a, such a dastardly thing as break through the frame of our novel and interrupt us while we're trying to read a book. Um, let's, let's, let's see if we agree that they're allowed to do that. So I hope you'll join me in reading some of these playful experimental texts and I hope to see you in the fall. Stephanie, thank you very much.